in the shadowy corners of power and influence, where the lines between truth and deception blur, lies a world that few dare to explore. Join us as we venture into the labyrinth of the unspoken, the hidden, the deliberately obscured. We shine a light on the dogma that's been fed to the masses, unmasking the intricate web of deception spun by those who wish to control you. Welcome to Beyond Undisclosed. The truth is waiting. Beyond Undisclosed, the classified tale of Elmer's rubber cement and World War II airplanes. The Inception. In the shadowy recesses of World War II history, where classified documents and undisclosed secrets are carefully guarded, lies an astonishing tale. A tale so simple, yet so revolutionary, that it has been kept under wraps for decades. The story unfolds not in a high-tech military lab, but rather in the most unexpected of places a humble office supply store. The unlikely hero. While Elmer's rubber cement was a household name, known for its adhesive properties, it was not Elmer who made the groundbreaking discovery. Instead, it was a group of military engineers who stumbled upon this simple solution. They were grappling with a life-threatening issue, how to prevent aircraft fuel tanks from leaking when punctured by enemy bullets. The simple solution. The engineers had a radical idea, what if Elmer's rubber cement could be applied over aircraft fuel tanks to seal bullet holes automatically. Amidst a sea of complicated theories and speculative technologies, this simple solution stood out. It was an idea so straightforward that it was almost dismissed, but its simplicity was its genius. The experiment. In utmost secrecy, a series of experiments were conducted. Aircraft fuel tanks were coated with a layer of Elmer's rubber cement and then subjected to bullet fire. Astonishingly, the rubber cement acted as an immediate sealant. The heat generated by the bullet's speed softened the rubber, allowing it to expand and fill the hole, resettling it almost instantaneously. The deployment. This groundbreaking discovery was quickly implemented across various aircraft used in the war. Pilots, initially skeptical, soon reported fewer incidents of fuel leakage. The government, recognizing the potential impact of this discovery, classified it as a wartime secret. Meanwhile, Elmer's rubber cement, though not the inventor, must have made a fortune from the massive government orders. The Aftermath Decades have passed since World War II, yet the story of Elmer's rubber cement remains buried in classified documents. Pilots and engineers who were part of the initial experiments took their secrets to the grave, bound by the oath of confidentiality. The Revelation Today, we pull back the curtain on this long-held secret. While the world moved on to more advanced technologies, the simplicity and effectiveness of this invention remain unparalleled. It's a testament to human ingenuity, proving that sometimes the most straightforward solutions are the most effective. The unanswered questions. Why has such a simple yet effective solution been kept a secret for so long? Could this technology have other applications that are still classified? And most importantly, how many lives were saved due to this invention, the credit for which has never been publicly acknowledged? In a world obsessed with complexity, the tale of Elmer's rubber cement serves as a dark, sinister reminder. A reminder that sometimes, the simplest solutions are the most effective, yet they can be shrouded in layers of secrecy and bureaucracy. The story remains undisclosed, its heroes unsung, and its truths forever buried in the annals of history. Thank you for tuning in to Beyond Undisclosed until next time may your God be with you.